Right, oh, just a basic rundown of uh, what I do to the barra heads. This particular one's an FG cylinder head, and we address the valve seat inserts. So uh, on any head, even if I'm running a standard diameter valve or a big big valve, I'll remove the inserts and fit an insert that has about a one and a half mil bigger OD. So that way, when we're uh, cutting the seats and removing a lot of internal um, more diameter out of the insert, it'll uh, have its have its fit. So I'll fit them in at seven to eight thou interference. And um, these are quite common for these cylinder heads to drop inserts out. So we uh, we fix that problem right from the start. That's why it's fairly expensive exercise to do them properly. Um, a lot of guys will cut a seat on a standard insert, but um, you eventually have issues with them dropping inserts out. Um, just do a bit of a rundown on on uh, what we do here. Going to a nice cool air conditioning room. Right, so what happens at, in this particular FG head? We're running a standard valve. It's just a replacement factory standard valves. Um, don't like to do it that way, but this particular customer wants to do it that way. Um, and what happens is uh, the valve seats on the factory cylinder heads, this is how thin they are when I take them out, so what I do is I, I weld, I machine a valve up on the in, um, so it drops on the inside hole of the insert, and then I'll uh, put some weld around the outside, three drops of weld, and you knock the valve out and the insert falls out of the head, that's how thin they are, so this is a factory seat, so imagine if you put an oversized valve in that and took another mill out of that ID, that thing's going to fall out straight away. Plus they're not in there very tight. I'd say probably three, four thou interference by, by how easy it comes out. So what I do is I um, get some real high nickel inserts made up by Bundy in Queensland. These are a special insert that's made up for us. Puts a nice radius on the bottom of them so they fit up nice. I fit them seven, eight thou interference so you'll see the difference in the size of the insert. Um, that way then I'll use this insert on a, um, a standard valve and also on a larger valve so then we can take the valve throat diameter out to the diameter it needs to be for proper flow and um, that aids the cylinder head greatly. Um, usually 25 to 30 percent increase in airflow just from the valve seats on these with a very minor blend into the bowl so it is uh, circumstantial to fit the inserts up to them. Uh, the inlets I leave, they're, they're, they've got enough body in them. Um, when I'm going to an oversized exhaust and an oversized inlet, I will put bigger diameter inserts in the inlet as well. That's one of my high-end barra heads that way. But uh, this particular one's just having a standard valve, so we're fitting up the more durable type insert to a CNC throat to... Um, get maximum airflow out of the seats and um, yeah that's for that one FG head barra modifications